Sergey and Robert, five years ago we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. So we're scoping out our location of where we are going to put our rafts in. This is on the Lewis River area. <laughs> it is running pretty fast. Makes me a little nervous from up here. This section looks fun. Definitely doable. Now we gotta figure out how we would get the rafts down there and put in. Yeah, it looks like we can go right down there. Yeah. Oh, but that would be such a fast put in location. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, there's an eddy there, which we could obviously put in right there. All right, so our game plan was to hike along the river and then pack raft down or mountain bike the road back to where we have to put in. However, the road does a six mile climb up this huge mountain. So we are currently at this wayside and packing up and we are hoping that an unsuspecting person here is going to give us a ride to the put-in spot so keep your fingers crossed people then we get to pack raft down the river so we'll see what happens wish us luck somebody just rolled in that stopped to use the restroom and he waved and smiled at me so I am going to approach him, I think, when he comes out and see if I can get a ride to where we need to put in. So, so a missed opportunity on that one. He was going to give us a ride, but his car is completely full to the ceiling because he's traveling for two months. So, got to wait for the next person to roll in to, in to give us a ride back. All right, now, next subject's going to be the Tacoma that just pulled in, and they are going in that direction, so we will see. I will approach him. All right, we've been sitting here now for over 30 minutes, and we've approached four people, and everybody's vehicles are going in the wrong direction, so still working on it. Scored! We got a ride here! Woohoo! Surprisingly, there wasn't very much car traffic, but... Great bunch of people that just gave us a ride over here and then they were going to head back and they're from the area. They're building a, a house, in, a Cougar house Mount, yeah. in Cougar Mountain, so we had a great conversation and now we get to go rafting. It's perfect! You just along. need me. I can talk anybody into giving us a ride. Now we gotta manage to get down there with our stuff on our backs. Hopefully we didn't forget something. I know. So oh my god, if we forgot something and we have to hitch back, that might be a problem. We can just SOS on, uh, <laughs> Now people in Oregon are super friendly. Lots of hitchhikers around. This is probably going to be the hardest part. Put my helmet on. Trying to get down there. Yeah, a helmet would be a good idea. Getting some uh, little butterflies in the stomach. Yeah, I mean, but this is, you know, some of this looks so much worse than it is. Yeah. As I'm telling myself, so. <laughs> well, how are you feeling? I, I have a little jitteriness going on, a little apprehension. Can't wait to get rolling. So did we read everything about this river? Do we know where everything is? 
I did read about some log jams that are on the side potentially. Did you? Yeah, but I mean that you know it just depends on the year and the, you know they could have come loose yesterday. Right? Yeah, but, that's true. You know, we'll have to look for eddies. Make sure that we look ahead. So if we see log jams, that we eddy out. You know, so <laughs> it's, uh, you know. Ah! I mean, this to me this feels like the Boise River. Yeah. Um, yeah. And but this is a class two slash class three. Uh, Boise was class two. So yeah. Here we go. That got, that got the anxiety out of <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't even go in it, though. I know. Well, I hit part of it. It's like Lazy River, though. We don't know what's ahead. I don't like it when I hear noise. You go first. <laughs> no. There we go. To those waterfalls. A bigger rock, I and know. I was got stuck sideways. Just inexperienced, you know. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. I'm not following you anymore. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I said it's a little nerve wracking when you can't see around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after it's done. Yeah. That, that was fun. It's like we need to uh, keep doing twos, you know, because we've only done this our only our second time, yeah. you know. I mean we we don't want to get over our heads, no, you know. You are today. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't even know what a three is. No. I mean, maybe that was like a three drop or something, right, you know. Right. So, but we just you don't. You are the man of content, creating content. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs>
You got it? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. So. Holy smokes, what a blast. Oh my God. We probably should stick with class two, <laughs> yeah. working its way up to class three, <laughs> considering we had some spill outs and some of those waves were just way over our oh my goodness. raft. But it's more just every corner we're looking ahead to see what was ahead of us to make sure it wasn't too gnarly. It wasn't, but it was, uh, it was bigger than Boise. It was definitely more concerning every turn than Boise. He had multiple streams coming in. Beautiful waterfall we saw. I mean, uh, it was it was so worth it. It was, oh, it was such fun. a fun it, trip. Part of the fun is the like, shit. What are we What are we doing? You know, but because this river we didn't scope out, we weren't able to see every length of it. But we were just going off of the whitewater rafting guide online, and so we trusted. Uh, which is good, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that we could run it. There were a lot of log jams, a couple of things we had to portage around. So the only thing is, I'm like, okay, did I, did I get the right put in and right take right. out, or is this like class four? I mean, I knew it wasn't, but <laughs> we were always looking forward to see what was happening next. So. That's what I was hoping. You had the right location of where we were actually putting in and taking out. So nice work. <laughs> that was fun. Nice work.